Okay. Hi, I'm Larry Richmeyer, plant manager in Rotocast. This is the area where we produce the water tanks, holding tanks, and a variety of air conditioning ducts and that sort of thing for the Winnebago product line. We begin with the pulverization of the material. That's where we take the virgin pellets and we grind them down into a powder that's suitable to be molded into the product. From there we take that powder to the machine where we weigh it by quantity to go into each individual mold. Various molds take different amounts of material so that we can have a consistent thickness of those tanks uh, in each of our products. From there we saw that mold going into an oven that's heated to approximately 600 degrees where we see it turning slowly so that that material can cascade over the surface of the mold and coat the entire inside of that mold with the molten product. That molten plastic then advances into a cooling station where it is cooled into a solid part and from there that goes back into the load unload station where we demold it uh, and, and have a finished water tank. That finished tank then is taken to the water test booth where each tank is submerged and checked for air leaks to assure that there are no leaks within that tank. And here at Winnebago it's very important that we in fact make individual water tanks that maximize the capacity for each particular model. What we'll see at this point then is that this particular spot where we have a dimple in the tank will be cutting the hole in which we'll be applying the, the fitting and doing the spin welding. After the tank has, has been formed or molded, why we then bring it over to this area where we will put the fittings onto that tank by a process called spin welding. You can see a bit of smoke from when that was first heated up and now that's solidifying and it's actually welding themselves together. Following the spin welding of the fitting, then we go ahead and we actually put in the connector that we use to attach the water lines to the tank. The next phase then will in fact be to put the sensors on that measures the, the water level within the tank. The old method, we drilled holes and we actually put a little rubber grommet through the tank. That was another opportunity for leaks. What we've gone to now is a system in which the sensor is attached to the outside of the tank. First the tank will be cleaned with the water alcohol based system. Then we will be putting an adhesion promoter on which will help to activate the adhesive on the back side of this sensor and then actually place each of those sensors on one of the X's that's been pre-marked on the tank to give the customer the water level of, of within his fresh water tank. Therefore, we've eliminated the three possible sources of leaks. And as you can see, because of our vertical integration, it allows us to tailor make each tank for each specific model, which allows us to utilize spaces that are oftentimes unused within the motorhome and maximize the water capacity.